Hi all, I have another highly entertaining game to show you from David Grosvenor. Leela playing against Fire 7.1, which is one of the top engines in the world, in the top 10 definitely. Uh, so this is a fast and furious 40 minutes per two minutes with a two second increment per move. Uh, so D4 from Leela, and actually we get the Grunfeld is the opening book given to them. And curiously, they play uh Leela plays exactly the same. This is the like the Leela system against the Grunfeld. Rook B1 here. And now after knight c6 offering this gambit pawn, which again fire has no hesitation taking. Bishop d2, bishop takes, queen takes. So this is this is a kind of hope for why neural networks can eventually, I think, overcome uh the classical engines, because this is pretty deep, uh, this pawn sack. I mean, instinctively, we know that the, the dark squares feel exposed, but it's proving this. Uh, so knight a5, h4 is, is goes a long way toward proving it. Uh, h5, g5, we have e5, and if nothing else, why it's getting a nice central pawn wedge, potentially. Uh, we have b6, rook d1, h6. So in another game we've seen, it was actually king h8, queen c3. That's really quite appropriate. I think appropriate is the right intuitive word to use here for that move. But here, it's more appropriate, I believe, what Leela plays, which is now, because that weakens uh, the light square, so it's logical to play queen c2 here. French then queen g6. Now that's closed up. But now this central pawn wedge is established, which is big compensation in its own right. The king does seem shielded for the moment, as if this is closed off. We have rook f6, but now knight e5. Uh, knight b7 and now f4 so this does have the big threat of taking in an h6 black tries to keep things closed here with g4 but there's a rude awakening now here Leela is the opener of the position in fact with this next move can you guess what it is if I give you five seconds to pause the video from now Okay, that king is going to be opened up like a can of sardines. Bishop takes g4, bang. Well, this wasn't played at fg because there's rook h8. And it's fascinating to check out uh, these variations. So, for example, king h8, this position is mega dangerous. If you look at black's pieces over here on the queen side, knight g6. Now, if rook takes g6, it, it seems to be uh, pretty forced. I'll just go over why. Well, let's have a look why rook takes g6 is forced in this line. If king g7, knight f8, check. And then queen h7 threatens rook g8, check mating. And black's pretty desperate here. This is just desperate. Check, check, check from the queen on h8. And then mate, for example, could result. That's pretty nice variations. Uh, here, instead of king g7 if king h7 that's even quicker for chat mating after knight f8 double check and then queen h7 chat mate so these lines it's, it's essentially forced to take uh rook takes g6 rook takes g6 hits h6 now black protects and also hits f4 potentially we have rook d3 though because there's ideas of checking here which which have to be factored in so knight f5 was played on queen takes f4, let's rule that out. Queen c3 check is mating on h on on not on h7 on g7. Yeah, queen g7 checkmate. So rook d3 is bringing in the other rook, and you can see that these pieces over here, the king saying, "Hey, you guys, are you going to get over here or what? I'm <laughs> I'm being attacked." But this this pawn on e6 is stopping the bishop uh, a little bit. It's it's dislocating. Uh, so knight f5. And actually, we get another, a very curious move, d6, threatening d7. This is throwing another issue to black immediately to handle. This idea of d7 in its own right. And black's kind of tied down here on both sides of the board. We have knight takes d6 being played. If e takes, then g4 is strong. For example, this situation with rook f6 is just devastating because there's rook f7. Stuff like that. So here, it can't really be ignored, it seems. This is too strong. Uh, this pawn. We have knight takes d6. And now check. King h7. 
and now another fantastic move from Leela here this is the point in fact stripping black of any key defensive resources white play here if I give you five seconds okay rook takes d6 yes these games are my cup of tea <laughs> it, king's crushing <laughs> queen c2 back for queen c2 without any interruption on the diagonal now that knight was a bit of a nuisance defensive piece so we've got the central pawn still and we've got vicious uh frets now like rook f6 check the king gets out of the way but check oh yeah, I just realized we're still in a variation. <laughs> anyway, we're still in a variation. This, this is just, just winning here after e7. So let's go back to the main game. Got carried away there. Stephen King. So bishop takes g4. None of that happened. Back to reality because queen f8 in an instant. All of that was avoided. Okay, so the bishop just dropped back. Is this bad news, chipping away that pawn? Well, yes. Clearly it is. This is actually a big deal for Black's king safety and that g-file. And pawn mobility potentially. We have queen g7. Now king f2 supports the g3 square, which means, yes, what's the two-move threat here? It's rook h3 to g3, for example. Yeah, that g-file. That missing pawn is a big deal. This two-move threat is a logical consequence. Knight d6. Uh, now... We have actually, instead of rook h3, actually this wasn't played here, uh, but this is also pretty strong. Maybe here, you know, king h7, but even so, it's it's strong for white, but rook g1 might even be stronger. Uh, getting behind the g4 break, this is the key thing. Leela does have that style uh, of pawns before pieces. If the pawns can do a little bit of damage, uh, supported by the pieces first then why not do that rather than put your pieces in front of the pawns so the key thing is you know sometimes the infantry first as a sort of wave of attack so here g4 uh, without interruption but knight e4 is pretty desperate that's taken off queen takes e4 so that f5 is not being used as a, a line opener now however the pawns in their own right are very very strong so pushed anyway and g5 is again another line opener for this pawn just to take that pawn for example bishop b5 and here actually we see g5 is not possible it seems in this position the, the rook's there the king's there so something like this is pretty rude queen takes g5 rude 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 so that's avoided we have actually knight g6 which supports potentially g5 now and this is an Instagram position, according to Dave Grosvenor. So if you're on Instagram, hashtag Kings Crusher, hashtag Leela Chess, hashtag AI, and either uh, hashtags you want. This is a pretty nice position. Yep, pretty nice position. It looks pretty crushing, visually crushing. Rook takes G6 was played. On Rook D8, then yes, G5 is pretty safe to play now. And this, just opening up that G file to the king, this is just causing desperate moves. This, for example, is really just desperate stuff. It'll be it'll be crushing. So uh, we have rook takes G6, queen takes, and white's the exchange up with still these gigantic pawns. So this is, this is not so hard to convert this into a win, this position. I'll show you what happened for a bit. So G6 closing up there. In fact, the pawns are absolutely gigantic here. <laughs> we have multiple connected pass pawns here. Uh, G7, E7 check now. King F7. On King takes E7, there's Rook takes H6. For example, this is pretty all over, as you'd imagine. So E7 check, King F7, Rook takes H6. Now, yeah, game carried on a little bit until here it came crystal clear that white is totally winning this adjudicate is a win for white white just takes there no problems no stalemate the kings can step back at any time so it ended there a crushing win in the grunefeld so if you're looking for a pet line against the grunefeld maybe this is worth investigating fire is a top you know mighty engine actually and it's just been crushed in this line the problem is in human chess, our opponents might not be so 
materialistic. Depends on your opponent if you can get this line with with, with the gambit. Comments, questions, like, shares appreciated. Thanks so much.